St. Pat's Silverstream, they're on a 22 game winning streak and they bring great form into this contest. They've been outstanding so far this year. It was meant to be a bit of a development year, but um, they've really stepped up and, and they're performing in far exceeding expectations. St. Pat's Silverstream, since we started playing finals in 1984, have won the title four times. St. Pat's Town have won it five times. So there's been a real mix in the last four years with trying to determine who the champion side is. Obviously a win, back to back, it hasn't been done before for stream, so obviously creating some history is always good, but yeah, just get the job done first and we'll be all right. Yeah, you know, they're certainly going to be going into this game, making sure they're uh, doing everything right and performing uh, the way they have been and, and hopefully carry on with uh, another win and another title to add to the, the school's proud history. Thanks, Neil. <laughs> hey, sweet. How's it going? Good, mate. Good. How's the injury? Uh, it's all right. Oh, see if you can get them across the road to see Jess tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Maybe, you know, depends on bookings and everything, but see if you can get in to see her. Um, probably need to kind of work out where, where things sit, eh? Are you going to stay right out of it tonight? Yeah. Okay. All right. Sometimes the boys don't, don't get onto the niggles. Uh, no, they don't, no, no. And, that, and that's the thing, you know, you're trying to drop kick for 40 years. Is that, is that wise? The quote up on the board, we've you seen it before, guys. Um, if, I could, if I could reflect a little bit on training yesterday, the stuff that I really liked about training was the simple stuff we did. But for me, if I look at it, we probably didn't do a lot of it in some of the activities we were about, okay? So for some of us, we were in this phase here of trying to do the spectacular, when perhaps the simple was what we need to be, okay? We are about creativity as a group, no question. We want you guys to express yourselves as rugby players, but we've got to understand where our skill set perhaps is and what's going to fit the situation in the field, okay? Play and know our skill, our skill limits, okay? Make sense? St. Patrick's College Silverstream First 15 are in the final stages of potentially the greatest error in the school's history. And that'll be Sam at 10, uh, Rocco at fullback and Sivy on the wing, OK? So that's how we'll go tonight. Nestled deep in the Hutt Valley, St. Pat's Stream, as it's affectionately known, has stood resplendent since 1931. It's a special character school first and foremost. It's based on the ability to guide and educate our young men with Christian values. Silverstream being a Marist college, they've always had a passion to bring rugby to the boys. There's a lot of history in the school with the jersey and the boys are, are quite passionate and take a lot of pride in, in representing it. We're quite a traditional boys school obviously. Um, the school's got a traditions through and through and I think that's something that splits us apart from a lot of other schools. To win traditional games against those fierce rivals is very difficult. To string them together six in a row it's something really special. If anything, I've probably just never been able to let go of, of potentially one of the best years of my life. We were proud of ourselves, I think, too. We knew that we were capable of playing good rugby, and I think we did. We've gone through all our five traditionals so far undefeated. Today's sixth traditional is a chance to win the Grand Slam. Making history within the school is a big deal for us, and we want to do that, but obviously, we've got to get the job done first. Go, Rocco! Back yourself! Go, I've come to terms with my injury. At first I was quite upset, but I've just come to accept it. Oh, Makes me nervous to think of it. Depending if we win on Sunday, or depend on how we play. I think we've come a long way. And we're starting to play rugby like together as a team. We talk about our core values, you know, being our faith. When they leave here, we want them to be well-rounded, um, not just good at a uh, run kick pass. It's a great opportunity. It'll be a day that you can enjoy for the rest of your life. You guys are outskilling them at the moment, okay? Nearly the space keeps changing every time. I've just picked up a, a tweak in my right quad. I have faith in Sam and he can lead the boys around. Take, 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 take! Welcome to the season. A look behind St. Patrick's College Silverstream's attempt to secure back-to-back -back Grand Slams and defend their Wellington Premiership crown.
In two days' time, Stream will take on their brother's school in the final traditional match for 2018. So far, the team are unbeaten, but with everything on the line this Wednesday, the training has real intent under the guidance of old boy Tim Mannix. So let's make this time valuable for us and uh, get some stuff out of it, get nicely prepped for Wednesday, all right? My coaching style is very much around putting the, the players at the, at the centre of the experience. I, th I think um, they're the ones that are actually going to be out in the field performing and when I was playing, um, we, we, had the, we brought the energy. But um, I think today, uh, for me as a coach, my job is really just to create a really good positive environment where the boys can express themselves. Firstly, just on the comms, guys, the talk. Pretty good, yep, yep. Nice recovery, Ollie. Put tech in, line it out here, about 30 out. Tim's a very, very good organiser. He's uh, technical, he's very, very positive. He's got a different way of uh, letting us do what we want, which is like keeping us all like active and not being afraid to do what we uh, think's right on the field. We're not really st stuck to a structure, we just play what's in front of us. I think him allowing us to play to what we see has really helped us to really adapt to the teams we play against because obviously not every team's the same. So if you're soft like that, you're going to walk him straight back in, he's going to get up before you. So you've actually got to stop under his ass and drive him up. So you've got to stop him in this channel here. So we're up in front. Nice. Good lift, boys. Good lift. Completing the coaching partnership is another old boy, Ford's coach Nigel Bingham, whose personality provides a different communication skill set. Oh, I'm slightly different. Um, being on the field with the boys, I like to give them a bit of feedback sometimes. It's, it's, well, it's not negative, but it's, uh, it's honest, and the boys, I think they respect that quite a bit. No f***ing around, straight into it. Let's go, I'll set some balls up down the field and we'll go in. Yana, you're calling different options. We're two opposites, but we bring out the best in each other and the boys, and the, and the boys know where they stand all the time. Is everyone 100% confident they know why we're doing the jump? Anyone not confident? Be honest. Not confident? OK, we'll just set up the defence. Along with coaching, Mannix and Bingham must also deal with injury management, more common at the tail end of a lengthy season. Take, 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 take! You don't go to that, Ruck, because you chase the kick. Sam Clark is in his first and only season with Silverstream and will likely start in place of three-time first 15 play caller Riley Forbes. Just picked up a, a tweak in my, in my right quad, my kicking leg. Well, I'm obviously uh, hoping to play and, you know, just resting up and make the final call tomorrow morning. So I think it will be my call, not for myself, even though 100% I'd love to play. Uh, it's all about what's best for the team and um, not putting them under any more pressure than they should be. Stream, 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 stream. No, 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 you're short. I believe Sam has a very unique uh, skill set in his past zone. Incredible. His running game will threaten the defence a lot, uh, but I'll definitely try my best if I'm on the sideline to, you know, keep my keep my comms up and support him the whole way through. Oh. Jesus. Yeah. You wanna smoke me, G? I passed it, and he was like, "Dude, guys, good session tonight. I think there was a really good." improvement in the accuracy, the execution tonight from where we started yesterday, so that's nice. That gives me, someone who's not going to be on the field on Wednesday, some nice confidence from the side, so well done on that. Uh, the communication thing, where were we overall perhaps tonight? It was pretty good. It was, I think it was pretty sharp, eh? If we make mistakes like we do, like we did against Beads, and we know we tend to do that in some of our games, we just need to be more positive rather than being down on everyone about it. Exciting opportunity Wednesday, eh? For so many different reasons. There's guys playing their, their cap game, um, all that sort of thing. For the year 13's last traditional, so much on the line. On the line. Obviously the six traditionals as well, okay, so that um, goes without saying. So let's just um, get our individual preparation right. Claudia will give you the, a reminder on some of those things we need to get right with our gear and everything else and timings. Uh, but let's just uh, get ready for this exciting occasion, okay? SPC. Yeah. I wasn't saying. I wasn't not saying it before because Rocco he won't join in. He didn't even join in then. St. Pat Silverstream has obviously been here since 1931, 
and developed from St Pat's Town, which I think started in about 1887. But it's a school where we're trying to make young men grow with a, a very good set of values, a Christian set of values, take their place in the what is a very difficult world these days. But the spirit and a lot of the traditions are still very much to the forefront of the running of St Pat's. One of the most important things is that um, sense of community, sense of brotherhood. They become inculcated in that ethos when they arrive. Many of the parents wanted their sons to come here. And one of the questions I used to ask them, is your boy happy? And they said yes, because they know that they are well looked after. They develop up their passions, not only in sport, but in all their academic performances. We talk about ideals that we want, we want the boys to aspire to. Uh, someone who's faithful, someone who's just, someone who's compassionate, who understands the world and can make a positive difference. And someone who can be a good leader, can be a good dad. It's about the whole person rather than just um, a small set of skills. Kia ora boys. Kia ora, sir. Just want to remind you about assembly this morning and I need you to make sure that your uniform is formal, no scarves, no jackets, so let's make sure we get it right. It's one of those important occasions. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Where you go. Like many secondary schools, the sporting and co-curricular choice for the boys at Silverstream is vast. But one sport holds a unique place in the school's history. Rugby is important for the school. It has a proud tradition. Uh, we obviously haven't always had the best first 15, but we've always had a first 15 that has been competitive. I think 90% of their success comes off the field and the way they conduct themselves around the school, the way that they are humble. Our theme for this year is about being courageous and it's about taking that spirit out onto the field, win or lose, and developing as a good young man and a good young ambassador of St Pat's Stream. All right. So Wednesday, yes, got everyone going through. Yeah, definitely got everyone yep. ready, ready to go, good to go. Yep. And I need to ask you where you're at with your maths. <laughs> um, maths. Yona Apaneru uh, is a student first, uh, athlete second, with the added responsibility of being the school's head boy, one that requires a direct line of communication with the rector, no matter how menial those discussions might be. We'll meet today at lunch. Uh, if I'm a little bit late, I've got to come from Upper Hutt. Oh, why is that? So I've broken my tooth, so I've got to go and get it fixed. So we'll see you lunch, one o'clock? Yeah, we'll text the other boys, obviously. Yeah, if you text them and tell them that um, we'll just meet in the dining room. Your rugby's a big thing, but um, it's also important for the boys to be able to be themselves and be able to enjoy the things they enjoy whether that's sport or not sport, arts, whatever. And that's probably something that, um, that when I look at myself as quite a all-round person. Rugby is a big part of my life, but it's definitely not something I would like to be defined as. And whether it's uh, other subjects like history, media, like I like, I like knowing things. I sort of like to be the sort of guy who plays for my team, but I also like to be myself. I don't, I'm not an overly talkative guy on the field. I like to do my role, uh, do my role and lead by example. Uh, and, and play for my teammates. You know, the rise of the internet has destroyed the newspaper industry. Yeah. So what angle did you go for in your propaganda one? Oh, that was more of a deceiving people sort of angle, so... But was that linked to the rise of the internet and how that's getting worse now? Because, um, I mean, you... Well, what I'm... Oh, well, it finishes with Trump, obviously, <laughs> Yeah. but... Um... Epineru is a prime example of a senior student who understands the balance required between the intoxicating but fleeting nature of high school sport and the need to keep his academic bases covered. Came here in year 11, this was two years ago, and um, the year group I'm in now, is, they welcome me in, and um, it's treated me like one of their own, and um, it's good to be a part of. For Chris Hemi, the opportunity that the school has provided off the field has enhanced the joy of plying his trade on the field. I oh, just, the physicality and um, just the rivalry between schools is why you want to play and um, what you would go through to win and the training and hard work that you would prepare yourselves and your team for. Last term, term two, is quite easy to balance yourselves with um, 
it's just another challenge, another traditional, but um, with all the meaning behind this one this Wednesday, it's a bit hard to stay a bit focused, a bit more focused, but um, then again, you're in school and you at the front of your mind, you just got to put your head down and work. It is often said that the true measure of how ingrained a sport might be in a culture or community can't be ascertained by participation statistics or TV ratings, but instead what the kids play in the schoolyard. Here at Stream, there is only one rule. Don't kick the ball. Yeah, it's the battle of the two St. Pat's schools in Wellington. It's probably our biggest traditional of the year and like biggest rivalry. Pretty much it'll be the last traditional for most year 13s too, so yeah, it's be a big game. Yeah, it's kind of just another game, but it's probably just a little bit more pressure with um, the whole school watching and their whole school watching. Obviously it's really important to myself being a, obviously a member of St. Pat's Silverstream and obviously Silverstream being a brother school of town. Every year we look forward to the challenge as uh, St. Pat's town. Attention, right to Eddie's. Kia ora, boys. And welcome to a very important day for us today, one of the most important of the year, which is that we will go and visit our brother school, St. Patrick's College, Wellington. And while we respect them, we also will challenge them on the sports field. Remember, please, about the expectations of our public image, about the way we behave. Let's applaud good sportsmanship and let's not lower ourselves to any level of bad behaviour please. That includes the way we greet people in public and the way we just portray the whole image of the school. And let's most of all go out there and win because that's what it's about. But should that not be possible, let's make sure we don't ever give up and we just keep going to that final whistle. Today's sixth traditional is a chance to win the Grand Slam and also will give us the guaranteed uh, top seed for the uh, Wellington playoff. Bragging rights is a, is a big thing between schools and, and history. The history that dates back uh, some of the traditionals now going back 80 odd years. They'll be very, very fired up for the challenge. I've heard that they've been training three or four times last week, but they'll come out firing, I'm sure. Hey, Norwich, firstly, uh, just wanted to cover off how we're going to. Look, at, look for injuries or cover the injuries of, in the backs. Yeah. Um, second five is probably the one that bothers me the most. I'm, I'm thinking well, there's a couple of ways we can approach it. Whether we ask Rocco just at a at a pinch to yeah, yeah. move into second five. Yeah, I think Rocco's the pick. Maybe yeah. my choice. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, hopefully the boys are going to be excited about having a firm track for a change. Uh, mm. well, geez, I can't remember the last uh, firm track. Or well, maybe some beads. I suppose was pretty pretty yeah, solid. Yeah. So um, yeah, hopefully we can get some good ball and put the Born to use out wide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll just start with a four man and then work our yeah. way through. Yeah. Use a seven and get on the ten out, fifteen out from their line. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. The other thing of just concern, and this is sort of looking ahead uh, to the future, um, is all these injury niggles. Um, I think um, we really need to message after today, getting the boys to uh, get their treatment uh, yeah, tidied yeah. up, uh, because uh, these yeah, boys yeah. need to use this period after today to get themselves uh, really uh, yeah, yeah. primed for the last uh, sprint down the home straight. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is Dave McGuinness. Dave played in the 88 team um, and probably 89 as well um, and was a, was a key player in, in the 88 team when they went on to achieve um, what we're aiming for today. 88 was, in the, you know, was unbeaten for us but Played in 89 as well, and, and that wasn't a happy ending at school for us. We thought we'd go back to, after 88 and do the same thing again. And uh, we fell over a couple of times. We had a really good team. Um, and we lost to town that year, and we were, we were big time favourites. And that game is still etched in my mind, and that's 30 years ago. We were behind, we just dropped our game plan and didn't do what we had agreed to do before the game, and we lost. Um, and I still remember getting a pass and going for the try line that game about five minutes ago and I should have I 
pass it on. And I still remember that quite vividly now because, you know, if we'd played a bit more as a team at the end, we would have got there. So, um, you know, I see this all as a positive, what I'm saying in terms of um, about today. Yeah, it's a great opportunity, but, you know, if you do the little things right and stick to your game plan, you'll get there and it'll be, mean that you'll, it'll be a day that you can enjoy for the rest of your, of your life. But um, we're all really proud of you as the, eight, the 88 team and the 89 team and um, go for it. And locking with Neil, Ollie. Luke at eight. Sean. We're thinking of playing this way, there's a bit of a breeze, but the coin seems to be fading a yeah, bit. It comes, it comes up a lot, flares up a little bit. Yeah, and then, yeah. Hey Jess, have we got any um, anti-inflammatory pills in the bags? No, sorry. Okay, no. Panadol? No, sorry. Great track, excellent track, and good, good overhead conditions, okay? Again, you heard it from Dave McGuinness, okay? Just, just plain, really, really simple. Okay, getting those little tasks done, okay? All those little things, they add up, okay? So let's make sure we dominate all those little battles that are gonna be around the rugby field today. The other thing, guys, finally, is just let's enjoy this occasion, okay? Hold it! Set! Shoot. Three or four each, footwork, okay? Sets up the skill, okay? Some would argue that the purest form of rugby union can be found in the secondary school competition with high school teams untainted by structure and strategy. But mix the raw talent of junior play with the conditioning advice filtered down from the elite level, and you have a potent combination of skill, flair, and explosive power. It was the last traditional you boys are gonna to play together. There's seven new boys getting caps today, so today we've all gotta worry about our own role, and we keep talking about our own role. It's not about you today, it's about the team. Stream take the field with history against them. Never before has a team gone back to back since 65 years ago. There will never be a better opportunity than this. Next time on The Season. I think we've got to make them play, boys. Let, let's take the referee out of it, okay? Nice, Micah! Well done, Luke, good ball! It was great to meet with uh, the current team. I don't know if other people felt the same way, but it was hard not to put yourself in their shoes. The number one is you play rugby well, play it fairly and play as a good team member. For more information about St Patrick's College Silverstream, please visit stream.school.nz.